In the last lessons, we were introduced to the drawing files. Our plan offers an additional structuring system, the layer structure. What is the difference between these two systems? Many all-plan users compare layers to transparencies which can be placed on top of each other. But a layer is not so much a transparency as a property that can be assigned to construction elements belonging to a specific category. Load-bearing walls, for example, or non-bearing walls. Layers thus provide us with helpful groupings within projects. They are applied to all drawing files. Construction elements and building components can be assigned to the right layers while drawing. The layers can be set to visible or invisible as needed. The advantage is, for example, being able to switch all the dimension lines of a project to visible or invisible at the same time. Or all load-bearing walls can be switched to visible in all stories and can then be given new properties. The layer selection can now be combined with the drawing file selection. This way you can quickly and accurately get the information you need. In total, there are more than 65,000 different layers. The numbers up to 32,767 are reserved exclusively for the all-plan layers. All other layers can be used when creating individual layers. The layer default is special. It is always active and is always editable by all users. The properties of the default layer cannot be altered or changed.